When it comes to content creation, there is one thing that I love doing more than anything else, and that is live streaming. Live streaming is a great way for you to connect with your audience, for your audience to connect with you, for you all to get to know each other, just to hang out, have fun, share news, share tips and tricks, inspire others. There's so many good things that come from live streaming. It's just fun to do. So in this video, I want to give you my top five tips for live streaming, for starting live streaming, or if you're already streaming, hopefully there's something you can take from this to become a better live streamer. Also, watch this whole video the entire way through because at the end of the video, I do have a special announcement for the channel. So we will come back in just a minute and talk about live streaming and my top five tips for becoming a better live streamer. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken. This is Just Hit Record. And on this channel, I like to give you tips and tricks, Q and A's, tutorials, encouragement, anything that I can do to help you get started. I think that everybody has a reason to create content. Everybody has a story. You have an audience. You have somebody that needs to hear the story that you have to put out. So on this channel, I wanna help you to just hit record so that you can get your content out there. Again, in this video, we are gonna talk about live streaming, my top five tips for live streaming to help you get started. And we're gonna jump right in, starting with tip number one, audio and lighting. Now I combine these because of the rest of the tips that I have, but audio and lighting are the two main things of live streaming. Now, obviously camera, video, all of that is important, but there are so many great cameras, smartphones, different ways that you can record your video, but lighting and audio are gonna make that live stream much better. Lighting up front because no matter what camera you're using, you can use an iPhone, you can use an Android phone, you can use a GoPro, all kinds of different cameras you can use. You're going to have different results with those cameras, but if you have good lighting, you can almost make any camera look amazing. There's tools you can use to do that also. So you definitely want to make sure that you have good lighting. Now that doesn't have to be expensive lighting. One of my goals on this channel is to help people understand that they can get started with very little. You can start out with lighting in your room you can sit in front of a window you can buy a cheap ring light there are plenty of cheap ways to get started with lighting and, and i don't mean cheap as in bad i just mean inexpensive easy to get started with and then down the road if you want to invest in better lighting which i've got now i've got softbox lighting sitting in different places that i can move around i've got a ring light in front of me lighting behind me there are definitely times and ways to upgrade lighting but if you want to get started with live streaming start with what you have. Now I will give one caveat to what I just said a minute ago about cameras. You can use almost any camera, but the one thing that I would say, do not use an onboard webcam on your MacBook on a laptop. Usually the webcams that come installed on your laptop or on your device are not as good. But again, if you have a phone, if you have any other kind of camera, set that up. You can find tutorials for setting up almost any camera using anything like that to live stream. Now the same thing goes for audio. You typically do not want to use your onboard audio on a laptop, on a camera, anything like that. But if you have a smartphone, if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android phone, typically the audio is okay for those. You can do that. You can even get started just with the earbuds that come with your phone. So you can set up and do live streaming with just your phone. That would be a minimum for live streaming with a phone. And then as you go along, you can upgrade your audio. Now there's also many different options for audio that's inexpensive. My main takeaway for this part of the video though is do not stress the tech. If you only have a phone and some earbuds, if you only have natural lighting or some lamps you can set up, make sure you do that. There's definitely ways to upgrade and you will wanna do that down the road, but don't let that stop you from getting started. Use what you have, go live and start teaching yourself what kind of a live streamer you are, how you live stream and the different ways to live stream. So the second tip that I have for you is make sure that you schedule your live streams in advance. With most platforms, you're able to schedule your stream in advance. YouTube, for sure, you can do that. Facebook, you can do that. Other platforms like Twitch, Twitter, you're not able to necessarily schedule them in advance, but you can let your audience know typically when you plan to live stream. You wanna come up with a schedule and I would recommend doing your live streams if you do them once a week, make sure you do them on the same day, the same time each week. That way your audience gets to know when you typically live stream. And if you start to build that following, if you, you're gonna have your core support that wants to be there for every stream, they're gonna know when you stream and they're gonna expect you to be live at your scheduled date and time. They will show up, you're gonna build your audience much faster by having a scheduled weekly live stream at the same day and time every month. So for example, me on my channel, I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. You will find me every Monday. 
I have not missed a Monday in almost two years. And that leads me to my next tip with live streaming and as far as dates and times go. If you have a set schedule live stream, try your best not to miss that live stream. Now obviously life is gonna come up, family things are gonna come first, you're gonna have illness, something like that, but if you are able to meet that live stream schedule every week, do your best to do that. You don't wanna make a habit of missing live streams. Again, your audience is gonna expect you to be live. They're gonna know that you go live. They wanna see your show. So make sure that you don't disappoint them. Go live. Again, if you're physically able, family comes first, all that stuff, but try to meet that every week. So tip number three that I have for you is make sure that you tag your live streams in advance. You can actually, after you create the live stream, you can edit your video so that you can put your tags in there ahead of time. You wanna make sure that your video, your live stream is searchable. You've got it scheduled out in advance a week, several days, whatever your case may be. You wanna make sure that people can find your live stream. So just like you would tag a video when you're uploading a standard pre-recorded video on YouTube, you wanna also make sure you tag the video. Now this is very easy to do. I'll kind of walk you through this real quick. So as we go to my YouTube channel, this is all you have to do. So you will go to YouTube Studio. And once you're at YouTube Studio, you can actually go to content and at the top, click the tab where it says live. Now, once you're there, you're going to see your upcoming live streams, which I have two scheduled right here. So we will go to edit one. We'll edit this one here. And this looks like your standard edit video screen. We're going to scroll down to tags. And as you can see, I've already got this live stream tagged. Put your tags in here just like you would for a pre-recorded video. That way it's going to be searchable. People that may have never come across your channel, this may pop across their browse screen and you're going to gain some audience that way. So make sure you tag it ahead of time. This is a great practice. And of course, as you're going through here and you are setting, you can set up some other options like your playlist. You can set your different options. If we scroll down, we have the caption certification, stream location, all that good stuff. And then under the customization tab here, you can also set your participant mode. I prefer subscriber mode and I do set minimum subscribe time to any duration. You can go any of these, but I typically don't want my audience to have to wait, you know, a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes before they can participate in the chat. So I set it to any duration. That way, if somebody comes across the stream and they want to participate, they don't have to wait, but they do have to be subscribed to chat. This is the way that I do it, but this is obviously going to be set up to however you want to do this. But this is how you edit your stream ahead of time so that you can let your audience know that you're going to be live and your live stream can be discovered. So my fourth tip that I have for you when it comes to scheduling and doing live streams is make sure that you have show notes. Make sure that you have a plan for your live stream so you're not just rambling. Unless it's just a fun hangout live stream, those are great also. But for your normal live stream, whatever you've set up for the branding of your channel, make sure that you have show notes. Now I wanna say, I would not script the live stream. I would not set up anything like a teleprompter or script out everything you're gonna say. Just a general one page notes guideline so that you can kind of stay on track with your live stream. It's very important to make sure that you factor in engagement, audience questions, things like that. You want your audience to be a part of the stream, but if you have some notes, it will help kind of keep you on a track. You wanna make sure that you have a smooth flow and show notes are gonna help you do that. So just to show you an example of what I do, I do have a standard set of show notes that I do every week for my stream. And as you can see here, this gives every piece of information needed for the stream. So this is what I actually create for the guest that's gonna appear with me. So I give them the date, the link to click in to join the stream. I give them you know, general instructions. Most people that I'm streaming with, they are experienced live streamers, but I give them this just in case. And then when I scroll down, you have interview questions. So this is where I kind of give the guests just a heads up. These are the questions that I kind of have planned for the stream and this is kind of what we're going to talk about. Now, again, it may not necessarily stay on course. Conversation may take these questions in a different order. We may not get to all of these. Audience questions, chat engagement may change course a little bit, but this just gives us a general guideline to go by so that we know what we're going to talk about for that hour, hour and a half, two hours that we're going to stream. It just helps keep you on course. So you definitely want to make sure that you do have some show notes and a general guideline. It's going to help you stay on track. And tip number five that I have for you for doing live streams is understand that live happens live. Live happens live is a saying that, I don't know if anybody said it before me, but I know that I say it, so I quote myself. Live happens live is something I've said for a long time, and here's what that means. When you are live, things are gonna happen. 
there's nothing you can do. This is not like a pre-recorded video where you can immediately edit and fix mistakes or take out the us or anything like that. Even worse, if you have a power outage, if something goes wrong with equipment, you have to be able to figure that out on the fly, but do not stress about it. Live happens live. Your audience understands that when you're doing a live show, everything is happening in the moment. So you can't necessarily stress over mistakes. I'm going to show you a short clip here of a live stream that I was doing about a year and a half, two years ago, and some issues that I had. You to enjoy it. I want you to keep coming back. If you say drop the intro, okay, we're done. Did he freeze? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me out there. We do now. You, you were gone. We had a power ago. outage here. Power flickered. Uh, I, I did my see. best. Can you hear me? Jobs? All right, you got me? <laughs> gotcha. Are we live? <laughs> I think we're still live. Well, that was awesome. Now you're frozen. We got some storm. I don't know if anybody can hear me or not. We have some storms out here in our. <laughs> Somehow I took him over. <laughs> hey, there we are. Outstanding. So we had, we had, a, we've got some storms going on and we had a power outage and my laptop fine because it's a laptop, but our router went down. So I had to wait for that to reboot. So here we are. So as you can see from that clip, that was a stream that I was doing where I lost power a couple of times. We had a storm going by and the show had to go on. Luckily I had a guest with me that was being interviewed and he was able to kind of keep the show going for a little bit. And that's also going to depend on what streaming platform you use. And what I was using at the time was StreamYard, And so the stream kept going. I was able to finally come back in. We continued the show, but you want to plan for those kind of things. Now, obviously a power outage is going to be very few and far between, but you do want to be prepared for the other smaller stuff. If you're stumbling over words, if you lose track of your notes, if your cat runs in and jumps in your lap, anything like that, live happens live. Don't stress over it. I've found that your audience actually appreciates and enjoys seeing the real you, the real streamer behind that camera, Mistakes are okay. Don't stress over them. Just plan for them. So those are my top five tips. Now, like I said before, I do have an announcement to make in this video. One thing that I want to do is help people become more confident, help people not be afraid to jump on and live stream. So starting in November on this channel, every first Monday of the month, we are going to have a stream where I go live. We'll treat this as kind of a general Q and a, the main part of the stream though, is going to be for any new streamer or somebody that has only streamed a few times is trying to build confidence. I want to bring you onto the show and allow you to stream with me so that we can talk about your channel, your plans, your stream, things like that. I want to help you to become a more confident live streamer. So the first Monday of every month, we will do a stream that right now I have titled just stream with me. We'll see if that title sticks, but basically it's going to be a chance for you to come on and stream with me to help you build confidence, to help you get started with live streaming. Now there will be some general rules for that and I'll put those out ahead of time. Basically, this is a family friendly channel. You will need at least a phone and some earbuds. You do have to come on camera, things like that. But I want you to come stream with me so that I can help you build confidence and help you get started live streaming. So if you'll do me a favor, share this video. I'm gonna post about this on social media. Help me get this out there because there are a lot of people that live stream or that want to live stream and are not confident enough yet to do that. So I want to help them get started. So share this out, help me get the news out. This again is going to happen the first Monday of every month, starting on November 1st. So thanks for being here watching this video. I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to come hear what I have to say about this topic. Again, live streaming is something that I love to do. It's fulfilling. It's fun. I love connecting with my audience. It's just a great way to grow your channel, to get to know your audience, to connect with people and just have a great time. If you have any tips yourself that can help others, some tips that I didn't mention here. Again, this was a top five. I can make this a top 50, top 100. There are so many great tips for live streaming. But if you have something different, do me a favor, throw a comment down in the comments of this video. Allow the comment section to help other people. So many tips, there's so many great live streamers, so your comment could help somebody. Make sure you throw it down there. I'd love to hear your tips also. If you haven't done so yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell next to us so that you will know every time I do go live or put a video out. That way you can follow the channel, get some tips and tricks, become a better content creator, live streamer. I'd love to help you do that. So if you subscribe, also make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That helps the channel. That helps you to push this channel out to a bigger audience so that we can help them also. I appreciate that. Make sure you check out the website 
kenthecontentcoach.com on the website you're going to find links to everything that i have going on with the channel something that i'm building and growing over time different services different things everything that i'm trying to do with the channel will be there so bookmark the website make sure you come back to that if i can help you in any way feel free to reach out to me through social media which is down in the description of this video or through email ken at kenthecontentcoach.com that email will obviously come straight to me and I will make sure that I answer any message that comes my way. So until next time, thanks again for being here. We will see you with the next video and we'll definitely see you November 1st for Just Stream With Me. I want you to come on and hang out and stream. So join us for that. Until the next video, guys, take it easy. Have a great week. Remember, just hit record and we'll see you next time. Later, y'all.